hello and welcome to another Lightroom Quick Edit. Today I'm gonna take this cabin car photo and turn it into something like this. Now the transformation is probably not that great and I'm really really bothered by this little cage in front of my cabin car which really blocks a lot of the picture but I still feel like it has some potential and it's definitely a beautiful view. So let's get started with editing. Definitely gonna raise the shadows here, bring down the highlights, bring down the blacks a bit as well to get a bit more contrast in the overall scene and contrast slider itself. I might bring up the contrast slider a bit but by that editing we have already have a bit too much saturation so let me just bring that a bit down with the vibrance tool. Yeah that definitely looks a bit more natural. Color temperature could be a bit warmer. Just a bit though, something like that tint looks fine to me. Yeah, nothing we have to change there. Overall exposure might be a bit brighter. Yeah, just bring that up a little bit. And whites, of course, bring up the whites. Now, I don't really care that much about the sky, but I really don't want anything clipped here. So I want to make sure that that doesn't happen and clarity. By the way, this little cabin car, in 6 minutes it goes down about a thousand meters, which is like 3000 feet, so it's really really fast. Kind of a cool fact, that's um, by the way not a thousand meters in terms of, you know, length of these cables, this is just altitude meters, so it's even more impressive that way. But anyways, I feel like a plus 30 contrast works pretty well here. Highlight slider, bring that one up in the tonal curve. And to the lights, I think, I think I'm gonna bring down the lights here. Darks, maybe bring them down a bit too. And shadows, also a bit down. Now, I'm pretty happy with the overall look. I feel like the top portion is a bit too bright though. So I'm just gonna grab a graduated filter and bring down the exposure on the top as well as the highlight slider just for the sky. And I definitely do like that better. And a thing that I really don't like, as I said, is this little steel cage. Unfortunately, there was no possible way I could have taken this photo without that in the frame. So I feel like I just have to crop that out even though I'm not going to be able to crop that out all the way because if I would do that I'd end up with a picture like this and there's really the main subject is cut off so it really doesn't work out but a little bit cutting off maybe something like that is already a bit better than it was before and a thing that I might do as well is go to effects and add some vignetting yeah, I think the vignetting works quite well for this photo. And maybe even adding some dodge and burning. Alright, so I've added some dodge and burning, or I should say just burning, because I really just made parts of the image brighter, not really anything darker. Here's before and here's after. As you can see, just a bit more color, a bit more warmth in the, some parts of the picture. And let's see where we started at. As always, here's the raw file. And here's what we've made out of it in about 5 minutes. So it's definitely a better picture than before, even though it's not that great because of this steel cage right here. Thank you so much for watching. If you would like to see more videos, be sure to subscribe. If you liked the video or disliked the video, you know what to do. And I wish you an amazing day.